Hello and welcome back to the channel with news of another heavily reduced loco. I hesitate to uh, use the term bargain because only you can decide whether it's a bargain or not. Uh, as you can see, this is a Backman Class 24 in a very interesting experiment livery. And this is around 50% off, I think possibly just a tad over 50% off at a shop that's rapidly becoming the DFS of the model railways, it's uh, TMC. They've always got some sort of sale on, a lot of which is not um, particularly massively reduced, but this is about 50% off. The retail of this is allegedly 200-ish quid. And this cost me, with postage, uh, 91.85. As you can see, it's in the uh, interested experiment livery. I think this might be the only version they've got up for sale. I'm not sure, but you'd have to have a look. But so this is uh, from TMC. And I think this weekend you can get an extra 5% off on top. Let's just have a look at the end of the box. Just let old Smokey go past there. So there we go, this is 32, treble four, class 24 one, experiment in blue and red with 21 pin DCC ready. So I'll get it out of the box, we'll have a look, we'll give it a quick run, and uh, you can decide whether it's a bargain, but it is heavily reduced. So back in the tick. So there it is down on the track. We'll have a slightly closer look in a minute. We've got the usual Backman paperwork with it. We all where to stick all the details, all the usual stuff. Don't know why I'm showing you this. You've seen all this before, I'm sure. Well, you might be interested in the DCC fitting, which appears to be on the top there. I say you get the body off anyway and usual warranty stuff on the back. And then there's a big pile of part, parts there, including destination discs you can change around, snow plows, three link coupling stuff, I think. Not too sure what those little yellow bits are, but then I haven't had a proper look. This has a uh, Essentially mounted motor with the drive shafts as usual. Appears to be lovely and smooth. We'll just have a quick closer up look at it. Oh, it's got working lights. I'm assuming the destination boards will cover some of those uh, lights to give you the desired effect. It's decent cab detail in there. As you can see, it looks like a fire extinguisher in there, separately fitted um, wipers. Handrails look slightly chunky to me, but it's not too vile, is it? Decent painted detail on the underframe. The paint's really nicely done. Sprung buffers, no driver, which is a pity. Nice white wall tyres. Nice roof detail as well. And the fan does spin if you blow on it. It's not powered or anything, but it does spin. And again on the other end. Same as the uh, first end. Let's whack it on the track and just see if it works. Well, it's gonna work, isn't it? Because I've already tried it. So when I first got this, it ran, um, the only thing I could say was like micro stutters. It was really difficult to see, but because my tracks laid straight on wood, you could hear it. A bit like that as it went along. Um, but it said um, 
half hour running in each direction and then half hour pulling the load each direction. Now it seems fine. All the lights work. Oh, it's got switches on the bottom as well for changing how the lights work uh, too. It does have cab lighting on DCC, but sadly no one seems to be able to work out how to get that to work on DC because I can't see the point in not having it. But there you go. So let's just see if it'll creep. I'm sure it will. And we've been photo bombed. It is a lovely runner. I don't know if you can hear the uh, <clears throat> wheels on the track there. You can't really hear any of this juddering. It was quite pronounced and you can certainly hear it better than uh, actually see it. So I have got a load for it, which it was, uh, I use for running it in. We'll just go and pick that up. He's pulling my uh, real track, but I think they're called FLA container wagons. That's what I use for uh, running it in. And um, it did cure out, the, um, smooth out the slight micro stuttering in its running, which is very strange. I've not experienced that before, but um, if it didn't cure it, it was going back. I'm not sure how old this, uh, this engine is when it first came out or anything. It's very difficult to go wrong with Backman diesels, even the older ones, because I've got two or three of them and they're still beautiful runners. Just back that back up. Before we get photo bombed again. So there we go, this is a public information service from Fairweather Trains. You probably know about it anyway, but um, it's from TMC, the DFS of Model Railways in their, whatever sale this one's called, Easter, Bank Holiday, Christmas, whatever sale. Uh, it's, I think it's, they're saying it's 50% off. Not sure what the full retail is, I can't remember, but it cost me 91, 85 including postage and it turned up in two days so if you're in the market for one of these just worth having a look and they may have some other livery ones as well i'm not too sure um, you have to have a look yourself i can't remember i just like this one because it's uh something a bit different so let me know if this information is any good to you or if you pick one up and what you think and uh, once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.